which I've never seen the snow this high um, ever. This is second story. And it's level with the railing, pretty much. Piles up to a point to where it's almost unbearable. California is no stranger to atmospheric rivers, but what made the 2023 season significant was the relentless, unprecedented frequency of events. Atmospheric rivers are also known as ARs, and all they are are narrow bands of concentrated water vapor that make their way towards the Pacific coast. Now, when this water vapor interacts with the Pacific storm, it's funneled directly towards the Pacific coast, and when it reaches the mountains, it comes out as rain and snow. Over a three-week period, we had nine atmospheric rivers hit California. That number of strong ARs is normally what we get in an entire season, and they came in three weeks. Including January 10th, when flash flooding forced the evacuation of Montecito, California. Rivers and creeks became muddy torrents. Scenic Highway 101 was closed in Ventura County. And strong winds knocked out power to over 100,000 residents in Southern California. After a lull in the activity starting February 22nd, two back-to-back -back ARs hit California. Rare blizzard warnings were issued in Southern California, the first ever for the San Bernardino Mountains, and the first blizzard warning since 1989 in Los Angeles and Ventura counties. Instead of measuring in inches, we're gonna be measuring in feet. The two storms produced nearly five feet of snow at Big Bear Lake in Southern California. In all, the highest peaks of the Sierra received more than 60 feet of seasonal snowfall, including Mammoth Mountain ski area, coming in at an impressive 900 inches of snow. People were buried in their homes, and I-80 was impassable. Then also the snowpack built up incredibly, so that then in the, in the early summer, when the snow melt was really coming off, there was also flooding. March 10th. Just a few days ago, it's a nice white line of snow in the mountains right above Kernville, California. That snow has since transformed into this. A foot of rain combined with melted snow brought the Tulare Lake back to existence and sent the Kern River out of control. You can see big, massive objects coming down with this river. People are being evacuated. Usually it's just a normal, regular river. This, all this completely insane. I mean, completely insane. And then all the houses down here on the road I live on, Tuvi River, they're evacuating all the houses, they're flooded, the streets all flooded, everything. In all, the atmospheric rivers caused $4.6 billion in damage across the West Coast. Despite the damage, the rain and snow greatly improved California's ongoing drought by refilling reservoirs. And by August, California was drought free for the first time in four years. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Alana Cameron.